this family needs somebody to tell them what they need to do to change. But the first thing for me that was important was for Glenn to prove to these girls that they could start to trust him. Dad, let's have a quick word. I think it's important for you as a father just to be able to sit down with the girls and just clear the air, be the role model as a father. These girls need a hug from their dad. I just wanted to talk to you guys, just us. There's been a lot of poor choices and poor actions on my part. Uncool. And I'm, I'm sorry for that. If we're going to do this thing, we need to close the doors on that part. And this needs to be clean slate moving forward. Agreed? Agreed. Truce? Right, what's some of your concerns? They were very reluctant at first. Mariah hesitated many times and looked at Brittany for reassurance that it would be okay to do so. I'm not going to be upset about anything. I want to move forward. You need to trust us more. Like when we're, if we're cleaning something or doing something, don't tell us how we should do it. So in two quick words, just back off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so as a young female, what do you need from your dad? Encouragement and more time spent together. What do you need from dad, Brittany? I don't feel like you and I are close anymore. I don't feel like I can talk to you if I have a problem. If I need help with something, I don't feel like I can come to you with it. I think the first time Glenn realized as he looked into his daughter's faces that they were hurt. That hurts to hear that. And I promise that I am going to do everything I can to change that. You guys know that I love you more than anything. It's all you need to know. Now that Dad and the girls have cleared some air, it's important to establish a routine to take the pressure off the girls so Mum can have the responsibility in raising her boys. What I have here is the family routine. All it's going to do is solidify the family unit. At nine o'clock, I've put here girls' school. So the girls get their four hours of teaching. The boys need to be looked after. Mm -hmm. So who's gonna do that? Mum? <laughs> Sarah at first was rather hesitant. You could see she was quite scared of the fact that she'd have to be looking after her boys all on her own. And what would she do by herself? How would she manage? From 2.30 onwards in the afternoon, that's when you get to go and do your projects, whatever it is, your assignment for that afternoon with regards to photography. What happens between four and seven? Who takes care of the three younger boys? Are you asking what it has been or what it should be? No, what it should be. Like, what are you going to do about it now? The options are the girls babysit. Yeah. That's what's been going on. Yeah. The other options are hire someone. Can you do that? I'm sure we can. Glenn's shaking his head. He's like, yeah. We're going to have to do that. That's, that's going to be our only option. Okay. That's what I like to hear, shake my hand. Glenn stood firm and said, we need to get a babysitter whilst you're at work. And I was really happy that he stepped up and said that. For me, that was a really good sign. So I would like to uh, put a slide in here for just Brittany and Maria time. Okay, Dad, with the girls, this is your framework for your family. Bingo, good job. All right, be there, good job, hey. So after going through the routine with both mum and dad, I then took the girls to the routine and explained exactly what was going to happen. So there's another opportunity here for you girls to go out and do your own thing as well. Meet up with your friends. The teenagers. <laughs> My God, it's the first time I've seen the girls smile. I loved it. I loved the routine. When does it start? <laughs> Next, I wanted to show the family exactly how overloaded these girls are with their chores. Dishwasher. Me. Breakfast. Me. Okay, laundry. Mom. Fold clothes. That's uh, everyone. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> everyone. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah. Right, let's go. Mom, Mom and Dad. 
have a notable disagreement on that one, but that's okay. I don't think they have good communication with their father. They are in fear of his reaction. You don't agree? You fold the clothes though, right? Yeah. I will stand up to my parents. And Brittany is more afraid to stand up to my parents. Give me your argument. Why do you feel you fold the clothes more? Because I have been doing it more lately. What's lately? The very last time laundry was done? No. Just about the time when you guys are gone. Oh. There's no way. Yeah. <laughs> Just as I was going over the chores, I saw that Brittany looked a little pale. A little faint. It's Brittany. Hey, call 911. She just passed out. Coming up. Okay, what's going on? Is she okay? When Super Nanny returns.